I've been on a journey to go from unemployment to millionaire in just one year. So far, I've made $107,942. How would you be interested in doing a photo shoot? Can I get a yes from you on that 800? If you say no, I'm gonna send 800 myself. You definitely, you, you, got, you brought us in, that's okay. for sure. But this last month I actually went backwards as I hit roadblock after roadblock and faced failure after failure. And now time's running out and I only have four months left. But this week things are finally starting to turn around and you won't believe the amount of money I made this week by almost complete accident. If you didn't watch my video last week, I talked about my plan to launch a coffee shop slash coffee brand here locally in Johnson City, Tennessee. Now that might not seem like a crazy million dollar idea to you, but I have some out of the box thinking that I'm hoping can get me to a million dollar valuation for my business in the next four months. Before I could get started with any of that, I have to do a lot of research. I have to find a good location and I need to make a few connections to make this thing happen. We are going to check out the building that the real estate agent recommended us. And uh, we're gonna check it out, see if it's a good fit for a coffee shop. I connected with a local real estate agent and she sent me one location to go check out. After checking it out, I was really disappointed. For one, the location has almost zero foot traffic and there really isn't anywhere good to park. But I decided to go around downtown and look at other buildings that were for lease. We found a few potential locations downtown, but it was also really depressing downtown. There's a lot of trash everywhere. Everywhere. There's a lot of homeless people and most of the buildings are either abandoned or for lease While I was looking at one of the buildings I randomly ran into a local business owner that has a gym located downtown Let's go back around Let's, yeah. You do? Yeah. We came here and we like we're used to where we're from there's like tons of cool coffee shops everywhere And like it's a college town. We lost a lot of it during COVID exactly. okay. Yeah, right um, Yes, I'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to leave it. I, I would say that there was maybe an excuse to, to not have to like, come back. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm so curious now about all the things I'm talking about. What about Um, what he's talking about, how it's changed and also why it's seems to have According to him, downtown used to have a lot more businesses, but because of COVID, a lot of them went out of business. Before that, apparently downtown was growing fast and they had big plans for it. On the one hand, it's a big red flag that most of these buildings are abandoned and downtown's so trashy. On the other hand, it could be a great negotiating opportunity. And as things are turning around, I could snag up a prime location as downtown's growing. I guess it's making money, but it brings them in and they got all the kids stuff. It's just still the buy roots. the drinks. Yeah, that's that's a Vietnamese place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to I want to try that one. It's a Vietnamese co um, coffee. Vietnamese coffee. Yeah, turn in, go right. Back home, I was able to finish up a web design project that I started a few months ago and bring in an extra seven hundred dollars. I also shipped out an order for a thousand swords, which is my brand. I started early on in the project. This is where I keep all the planners. It's the corner of my bedroom. That's my desk. I print things off. That is laundry. We are going to mail Mariah a planner. Can you unwrap that in plastic? Yeah. All right, yeah. We're including a dollar because I started my one one million journey with a dollar, so I throw these in there. I'm supposed to have a note that says that too, but I haven't made that yet, so eventually. Originally, I thought a thousand swords would get me to my million dollar goal, but after actually launching it, it hasn't really seen the level of success that I originally hoped for. It's still been an amazing learning experience and I'm still shipping out planners as orders come in. For land flipping this week, I still have not completed a deal. I've spent a little over $1,500 and still seen literally zero results from it. Besides, I do have eight offers on the table and I have two of those offers where they've agreed to it verbally or not verbally over email but I still don't have that signed piece of paper in my hand so I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for those pieces of paper to arrive in the mail once they do I'm gonna close on a deal as quick as I can I'm doing essentially the same thing with my hammer forge marketing company I've been sending out letters for a few weeks now, but I've still gotten zero leads. I haven't even gotten anyone replying back. Normally at this point, I at least get somebody who's angry at me, 
but not even that. This week is the week that I add up my recurring income for the month. My recurring income is basically all passive income that I started at various stages of the project. I started these income sources early on in the project just to be able to pay my bills and not have to worry about all of that. Most of them are still up and running and still making me money every single month. And if you're wondering, they consist mainly of Google Ads management, a company called Levenue that I started with one of my best friends. That one's actually doing insanely well and we would have a lot more clients except for freaking COVID scaring away all of our clients. Nobody wants to work with us. Postal mail marketing, which is something, again, I started early on in the project where I mail out postcards every single month for certain businesses. Then of course there's Anchor Protocol, which brings me in passive income every single month. And this month for the very first time, I'm adding in YouTube as an income source because this last week, I finally got approved for monetization for my channel and I'm now making a very, very small amount for my YouTube channel, but I'm hopeful in the future as I continue to scale it, it will also become a passive income source. Total for my recurring income this month is $2,770. So I mentioned at the start of this video, I made a ton of money this week by complete and total accident. But the story starts a little over a month ago. I was wanting to learn yield farming. It's a way to make money by providing liquidity to automated market makers like Uniswap, PancakeSwap, One Inch Exchange, etc. I didn't want to pay the insane fees on Uniswap due to the Ethereum network just being so expensive right now. So I opted instead for using QuickSwap on the Matic network just as a learning experience for yield farming. I literally chose my token pair just based off of what was first on the list, which was QuickSwap and Matic. I bought those two tokens, I paired them, I set them up for yield farming and I let it run. And I thought it'd be a great learning experience for me to see if yield farming was potentially an opportunity for me to make even more passive income. Then I hit my streak in my journey where everything started falling apart. The crypto market crashed. Everything was going crazy. I was hitting failure after failure after failure. And I totally forgot about my little yield farming project. That is until last week when I saw a reminder on my phone to check up on it. I didn't really expect much from it. I thought best case scenario, I would have made a few hundred bucks. Worst case scenario, because of the market drop, I actually lost most of it. And sure enough, when I checked on it, that from actual yield farming, I only made around $70. But the random token that I bought, QuickSwap, to pair with the Matic, absolutely skyrocketed in value. Turning my $1,300 investment into $10,000. And I actually would have made more money had I not been yield farming, because you have this thing called impermanent loss. I don't know why they call it impermanent loss because it's definitely permanent where you lose money and it just sucks. But I really have nothing to complain about because I would have never bought in quick swap if I wasn't trying out yield farming. So for me, it's just a massive win. And for now, I'm actually gonna hang on to quick swap. I actually really like the project, but I'm curious what you would do. If you, if you made that $10,000, would you sell right away or would you keep going? Total this week for my crypto investments, I made $16,638. Stoic also brought in $1,388 this week, bringing my new total to $129,272. It feels amazing after a multi-week streak of failures to finally have a massive win, especially a win this big, this is probably my biggest jump forward in a single week I've ever made. But I still have a long way to go, lots of challenges to face, lots of hurdles to overcome, and even bigger risks to take if I'm gonna hit my million dollar goal in the next four months. My next goal is 150,000.